Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and let's be real. It's been a minute since we did this. Did what? Talk about my mortgage payoff journey, an update and where are we now? Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining the family and welcome to my tried and true tribe who keep coming back to watch video after video after video no matter what it is that I am talking about. But what should we be talking about? Here on this channel, we talk about all things fun and the budget that goes into it. This is the Fun and the Budget Act, where we balance the art of living a fabulous life while still minding our finances, okay? So like I said, we're gonna talk about this mortgage update. The last time we did this was actually in February, where the balance on this home was $412,070. It is now June, where do we stand? The last time we talked, I introduced you to the new amortization chart that I'm using this Excel spreadsheet the link is in the details below and let me tell you guys hold on I have been receiving lots and lots and lots and lots of emails requesting access you actually don't have to request access from me here's what you do after you open the Excel spreadsheet in the Google Docs go to file is it on this side or is it on this side Go to File, go to Save As, and then rename it as something of your own. From there, you can then update that copy in that version of the spreadsheet that will be totally yours, okay? And so when we introduced that, I told you guys that my goal was to do at least an additional $2,000 a month. But a lot of you know that I absolutely believe in living, living. So while paying off my home is high on my list of priorities, it is not the end all be all on my list of priorities. What's high on my list of priorities is to responsibly enjoy this life day by day as it comes because the future is promised to no one, right? So I have it and any of you who've been watching my budget update videos, you already know this. I have not been hitting that mark of an additional 2000 a month. So let's talk about what I have been doing, okay? In the month of March, I sent an additional $423.51 to the escrow shortage because that was the shortage from 2018 and like all mortgages they send you a statement at the end of the year letting you know what your new monthly mortgage is going to be based off of your escrow if your taxes increase that year your escrow could have been short like mine and so what they will do is they will tack that onto your new mortgage payment so my 2019 mortgage payment they will tack that on increasing my monthly mortgage to make up that deficit. It's an interest-free loan, but I did not want to send extra money to my mortgage just to pay that shortage. So I went ahead and sent them one lump sum so that my monthly mortgage could be the same or higher according to whatever they feel the tax adjustment needs to be so that another shortage won't happen. And this also works the other way around. If you pay your escrow and then at the end of the year you find out that, oh, taxes were actually lower than anticipated, they will actually send you a refund check of whatever that excess was. And so my mortgage payment was $3,085.80 because it had increased due to them feeling like they needed to hold more money in escrow. And of that $3,085, $1,250 went to the principal and $1,116 went to interest. I was also able to send an additional $319.20 to the principal. In April, I sent my, my mortgage payment of $3,085 and of that $1,255 went to the principal and $1,111 went to interest. 
I was able to send an additional $1,514 to the principal. In May, I made my $3,085 payment. Of that, $1,262 went to principal, $1,104 went to interest. So as you guys see, I'm clearly paying more to my principal than my interest, which was, in goal, which was a goal of mine. So we successfully met that goal. And then I sent an additional $1,639 to the principal. In June, I made my mortgage payment of $3,085. And of that, $1,270 went to principal and $1,096 went to interest. It's going to be so, so, so fun when that interest actually falls under $1,000. And then I was also able to send an additional principal payment of $5,014 over to the chart. Okay, so what I did on this chart is I zeroed out the payments for February, March, April, and June. And all of these right here, these are my predicted, my estimated payments down here. Right. So technically where we stand right now is I will have this paid off in June of 2027 versus December of 2041. I will be paying seventy six thousand five hundred and forty four dollars in interest versus a little over two hundred and nine thousand dollars in interest. I will be saving a total of $132,714 in interest. This is how it stands before I plug in the extra payments. So if we go down to the bottom right here, right here currently, it has me having this paid off in June of 2027. And my final payment will be $1,418, okay? Now let's plug in my additional payments month by month. In March, we made an additional principal-only payment of $319.20, okay? In April, we made an additional principal only payment of $1,514.20. So now we can scroll down and look at the fun part. Where does that bring us? Ha! In May. In May, we would have to pay, instead of $2,000 extra, we would have to pay $1,034.30. And let us take a look at May 2019 payment. In May of 2019, I made an additional principal-only payment of $1,639.20. In June, I made an additional principal-only payment of $5,014.20. And does this match up? Does this match up? It matches up a little bit. I actually, oh, and this is a goal. This was a goal of mine, guys, to get under the $400,000 mark. So we are finally under the $400,000 mark of what I owe on this home. I actually owe $398,000. $4.90. So let's play around with this little number right here to see how close can we get that. What if that was $5,070? Yep, there we go. So <laughs> $4,657.70 brought us to the exact amount that I currently owe on my home right now and we all know I paid more than that but these numbers right here are spot on so let's scroll down to the bottom and see where that has us all 
All right. So now that has us paying this home off in March of 20 <laughs> in March of 2027. So eight years, we're still at the eight year mark. And of course, I want to close that gap some more. Let's look back at the top of the chart and look at our final numbers. So again, when we started this off, it had us paying it off in June. We are now having it paid off in April. We, we reduced the loan by 176 months thus far. We are now saving we are now paying $74,152 to interest versus that $209,000 to interest. And we have a total savings of $135,105 in interest. So I am super excited about all of that. And once again, we are super ahead on our goals and our benchmarks but we're going to talk about that in another video where i color in my charts because i have two charts going on um one chart represents a color block for every thousand dollars i send to my mortgage and then the other chart is highlighting where we are on the paper emeralds amortization chart i feel like when you're doing big goals like this the more charts you have the better the more games you play with your mind the better the more benchmarks you can set for yourself the better otherwise the goal just seems so big and so broad and so undoable that you will do nothing at all so see you in the next video where we color these charts and I show you my goals and I show you my next goal and I show you everywhere where we are and what we plan on doing and hopefully encourage you on your journey. If you're on a journey to pay off your home or any large payment, whether it's a student loan, whether it's a car, because I remember there was a day in time where I used to feel like Everybody's always going to have a car payment. There's no way you can pay off a car. I mean, 30000 20000 10000 just seemed so huge that it was like, let me just pay the bank payments and keep it moving. Because when this payment is done, I'm going to have another payment. But now I totally retrain my mind to know that we can pay off large sums of debt. And we can do it with ease, grace, and class. And we can still have fun and live our best lives ever while doing it. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment below and ask questions. And whatever your questions are, I'm going to answer them in the color off the chart video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a Fab Fam member. All right. Until next time. Peace.